So welcome back to Al Nehudi Central. This uh, video is slightly different to the other ones <clears throat> because this one is all about what you can see in front of you. So in this uh, video we're going to be building the uh, low relief cinema made by Metcalf. It's a double O scale kit and the kit number is P0206. Now some of you who follow the channel will realise or will know that the channel is a modern era. So what I intend to do with this is to update the signs like I've done on some of my other kits and change it into a modern era cinema. So here I've got a trusty uh, box of scrap pieces of kit from previous models just in case I need to bodge anything on the new model. I've got my other trusty box full of clamps and pegs. These are just pegs from the garden, well from the clothesline. Just so you don't have to hold things in place when things are gluing. Uh, I've got two types of glue. Firstly, uh, rocket car glue made from deluxe materials. Now you can see this is £6.15 from my model shop. But it is far superior glue for making cardboard kit models. However, I can always fall back onto the old Yoohoo. A standing knife with brand new blade in. If you're cutting cardboard, you need a new blade so it doesn't tear or rip. I've got an Exacto blade with uh, Exacto blade number 11, just in case I need to get into any of the tricky areas. Got some tweezers. And I've got a steel rule. So let's crack on. So this is the kit. It's double O scale, low relief cinema, and it also incorporates two lockup shops. Uh, this was £9.20 for my local model shop, and that's quite a reasonable price. Uh, it's ideal for backdrops where the space is limited, so what I intend to do is this will be going with the low relief shops that I've also got uh, on the backdrop on the upper section of the uh, above the station. So looking at the back, it's uh, low relief cinema and shops, ideal for backdrops where space is limited. The full depth of the building is only 34 mil and it's 195 mil wide. Uh, and there are other uh, high street shops available in the same kind of style. So let's crack open the kit and see what's inside. Now, Metcalf kits. I always have trouble getting into Metcalf kits. And I'm loathsome to cut into them with the knife just in case inside the kit is a piece of the card for which you need to build. So I always make a hash job of this. Get rid of that. So as per the norm with the Metcalf kits, you get detailed instructions on how to actually construct the kit. We've got some sign and window displays, but these are slightly dated uh, for my era. Dr. No. The Beatles, Gone with the Wind. There is a, 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 well, I say modern, but a modernish film, Dracula, there. Uh, but I'll be getting some new ones of these to update onto my cinema. You get this with every Metcalf kit. It's the 00HO scale ridge tiles. And lo and behold, I've got plenty here. Glazing sheet, and then we come on to the sheets themselves. So that's sheet A, we've got sheet B, which is predominantly 
much like the roof and inside. And then we've got the thicker card sections here. One thing I did forget to include at the beginning is to have a good pair of set of scissors because I find when cutting out the uh, the plastic styro, uh, the plastic sheets of uh, glazing, it's easy to do so with a pair of scissors. So we're 24 hours in and have had a change of thought really with regards to the, the cinema. What I was going to be doing originally was updating and modernising this building. But come to think of it these days, there are very scarce amounts of actual cinemas in the old cinemas. And what's happened to these cinemas is they've been taken over by a well-known branded pub called Weatherspoons. So I might scratch build a cinema for the retail park and change this into a pub. I'd gone to the point of printing off on glossy paper uh, the logos and uh, film posters. But then I thought to myself, I'd rather have a modern image instead of changing that kit into a cinema, I'll change it into a pub. And that would be more in keeping with modern times. So the kit's finished. Uh, obviously it's taken slightly longer uh, because I changed my mind halfway through. So it's changed from this to this. And obviously the main difference is you can see that it's changed through weather spins. The well, the Spins logo has been printed off the internet uh, and plastered across the front where they were posters for films. There's now a menu and on the either, other side there's promotional posters. I think this one's a Valentine's Day. You'll also be pleased to know Food establishment has got a healthy five. These again were printed off the internet. There's a photogra photographic scenes from inside real weather spins within the actual windows. These have been set back. I don't know if you can see. I printed these off the internet on photographic paper and there's one in there and there's another one there with people drinking and you can see through the side windows. I've chosen to keep the regal sign at the top because a lot of Weatherspoons like to keep some kind of representation of what the building was. So that's been kept. For now I've left the back off uh, because that gives me the option of putting in lights at a later date but the back is kept safe. The kit was simple to build. The lengthy thing was finding the right pitches for the actual inside and then printing them out. Uh, but everything was made much more simpler with the use of this. It really does work well with card and it bonds the card together quite quickly so you don't have to hold things for quite a while. You do have a few seconds working time to actually position it. But all in all, 
I'm very pleased with the kit. So if you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because I've finished this late at night and everybody is asleep downstairs. But overall, I'm very pleased with the kit. And I think I will incorporate it into the low relief on the upper section. If you'd like to check out my other videos, uh, please do so. And if you'd like to leave any comments, please do. I'll be back soon with another update from Old Neighbourhood Central. Bye for now.